Hello and welcome to An Evening with Rusty Blackwood, a three-part interview with the author of Passions in Paris, Revelations of a Lost Diary. Rusty is a prolific indie author of romantic fiction, short story, comedies, contemporary, and traditional poetry and children's books. Her first love is romantic fiction, but she crosses genres with ease. Passions in Paris, a romantic fiction novel, is a sweeping saga written in the tradition of Bram Stoker's Dracula and What Dreams May Come. It's been compared to Eric Siegel's love story and Nicholas Sparks' The Notebook. Passions in Paris, Revelations of a Lost Diary is available at Amazon in paperback and Kindle editions, Barnes & Noble in paperback and Nook editions, and CreateSpace. The EPUB edition is available at Smashwords. Carol, how are you? I'm fine, Don. How are you? So tell us about this book. This novel is a romantic fiction drama that is written in the flavor of What Dreams May Come, Love Story, and The Notebook that centers around two star-crossed lovers that find themselves at the turn of the 21st century in Paris. And this story revolves around their meeting and what happens to them once they meet. They're thrown into very difficult circumstances that just erupt out of control. And I feel that this, this novel is a book that will be enjoyed by women of all ages. Who did you write this book for? Middle-aged women between the ages of 35, possibly to 75. Maybe even one could say the bored housewife who gets a getaway into a place where her fantasies and inner desires can come to life. I think that the novel would be appreciated by those who have gained some experience in life, definitely experience of the heart. And I think a person has to have gone through heartache and a certain amount of anxiety in life to truly appreciate when they find something or someone that truly does make them happy, regardless of what else it may bring with it. So how long did it take you to write this book? The better part of 10 years, from the very beginning of the idea of, of thinking about writing a romance novel to actually the finished product of it. 10 years. So when did you first start writing? Well, I became a professional writer in 2001. That's when I actually sat down to start writing Passions in Paris. I've, I've always loved to write from the time of elementary school, but I, I'm not professionally trained in the field. It wasn't what I had intended to do with my life. I've always written. I've written poetry and short stories throughout my life, and it was in the early part of, of the 2000s that I decided that I would really like to see what I could do with this as a, as a career. So it would be 2001 that I, I started writing as a professional writer. So why become an author? I mean, what motivated you? Why not just do it part-time? Because I think I wanted to see where it could take me. I think that's why anybody writes, especially when you sit down and, and do it seriously. There's a difference between doing it as a hobby and uh, doing it as a career. That's basically, I, I like to write. I love to write. And so I, I just wanted to see where where this could possibly take me. So you said you like to write. What is the greatest joy, would you say, in writing books? Uh, for me, it, it's what it brings me. Like, I, I, when I sit down to read a book myself, I, I love the escape into this world that's the author's mind to really be able to enjoy what it is that they've, they have uh, felt while they were writing it. And that's what I get from my own writing. After I've written something, I've, I've come to know whether, after I've read it, whether it's any good or whether it isn't. And, uh, and it's just the joy of, of taking an idea that I've got in my head and expressing it before me, either on paper or on the computer screen, getting to the end of it and, and enjoying what it is that I've read. So therefore, I hope that whatever I do write, that whoever is reading it gets that same reaction, that same feeling. Now, you said you've been writing for a long time. Do you remember the first story you ever wrote? I would have been a child at the time, but it no doubt would be something that obviously struck me, uh, inspired me to express it. Uh, that For me, that's where 
all of my my writing ideas come from. It's it's something that's happened that that I want to record, or it's something that I've seen that I want to write about. So it it would have been something along that line, no doubt about an animal in a field or something like that. So who were your favorite authors, or who would you say has really influenced your writing? I like expressive writing, and so therefore I I like authors that write that way. Uh, would go back to the time of childhood there again, because um, I I like uh, Black Beauty, for instance, I think was one of the very first books that I can ever remember reading by Anna Sewell. And she wrote it to the point where you you would think that if the horse could actually speak, that what she had written would be what it would say. And I, I found that very intriguing to think that, that, that she could think like that, that she could become the mind of a horse and express a horse's feelings like she did in that book. And I like Lucy Maud Montgomery, the same thing. She's another um, primarily children's author, uh, Canadian author, best known for Anne of Green Gables. There again, ex- very expressive writing. Laura Ingalls Wilder is another writer, children's writer again, but very expressive. You could just pull you right onto the prairie with her, and uh, everything that she wrote about, you could visualize it happening before your eyes. I very much uh, enjoyed Margaret Mitchell's Gone with the Wind. I think it was an excellent saga that she wrote. Um, you were right into history as you read her words. You were right in the Civil War. The same with um, Stephen King. I very much admire simply because of he's got such a unique mind that by the time he finishes writing his book and you read it, he has a way of getting into your head that makes you hesitant to step into the shadows and things like that. I just think it's extremely interesting to to read these words that come out of an author's mind. And I think those ones that I mentioned definitely are among my favorite writers. Again, Daniel Steele with Romance. She um, expresses very exotically. I like that very much. Tell us about the storyline of this book. Passions in Paris takes place um, at the beginning of the 21st century in Paris. Uh, The book itself begins in the year 2040, and it ends there with the the grandchildren finding a diary that their grandmother had written when they gathered to help plan her memorial after her death. And it sweeps them back to 1999 Paris. It tells the story of these two soulmates, actually, who who find themselves again in Paris, and uh, they come together just in time to get tossed into the most trying circumstances of their lives that that, uh, one just keeps happening one right after the other. It's totally out of control for them. It becomes very intense in places to see whether or not these two are going to make it through.